This is a real quick video on how to fix stuck and squeaking buttons on the original Sony PlayStation 1. So these open and power buttons here, um, these, can, these can squeak, they can get stuck down, they can just get to the point where they don't actuate that well and they're just kind of like stuck or hard to press or they don't come back up. So fixing this is pretty easy. Um, first things first, you need to remove these, uh, these six screws on the bottom of the chassis, the shell here, which I've already done. So we can, at this point, pull this up and we are going to set aside the lower half because we are working on the upper half of the shell here with the buttons. So we can turn this underneath and uh, over here we have the open button. You see it's on this slider where it can open the lid and over here we have the power button. So the power button is actually very easy. All you need to do to get this out is just press these gently, these plastic clips, and it pops out the bottom. Just like that. And as you can see here, see if we can get a focus, um, really we just have a spring. We have uh, these plastic clips that hold it in and the center section here which um, kind of acts as a uh, centering piece for the spring. And you can even see where the plastic rubs and uh, what that does is that's what creates your squeaking. And uh, sometimes if this gets worn down, there's a lot of dust in here that can actually cause it to get stuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, silicone grease. This is made by Danco 88693. Um, you can usually get this at any plumbing store or Home Depot. Uh, this stuff is great. You can also use it for other applications as well, but uh, we're going to be using it here because it's perfectly safe in these buttons. So what we're going to do is we're going to take just a really small amount and we're going to apply it to the rub areas. That actually might even be too much. You really don't need much. Um, I'm going to wipe that from the areas I don't want it to contact. Turn to the other side and then same thing like right in here. You can just use your finger to apply it. This stuff is perfectly safe to get on your hands. Um, and although it's not completely necessary, you can see here how there's um, just a little bit of wear on here. You can, you can apply some of the silicone grease to this too. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, sometimes the spring as it rubs against the bottom of the plastic can squeak. I don't want too much. There we go. So we can just push a little bit right in there. and then take the spring, put it back on, and uh, make sure it faces the correct direction. And then pop that guy right back in. Perfect. So on the other side, there is just a little bit more work to get this out. Now it's not too complicated. Um, all we're going to do is we're going to take our Phillips head screwdriver, take out these two screws. All right. And this assembly just pulls out just like that. Um, now the way this works is when you press the button, you can see how it's, it's angled. Um, it actually pushes this, this slider against a spring. And when this slider retracts, the lid, which is also spring loaded with a separate spring, is allowed to actuate and open up. So we have this entire wear surface on the back side where these two pieces of plastic just rub together. And I believe from the factory there is no lubricant whatsoever, at least not that I've ever seen. It's just plastic on plastic. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just apply some silicone grease in here. Just rub this into all of the contact areas, the wear areas. Just like that. And you can completely disconnect the spring too, if that makes it a little easier to get in there. Which uh, appears to have happened naturally. And then uh, this guy here sits right in here and you can see it kind of rubs a little bit 
over in this region. So we are going to take a little bit of grease and apply it right here as well. And lastly, we will pop out the open button and do the exact same thing as we did the power button. Now, of course, there's no spring on this one because this button um, has a separate spring on the slider. So we are going to put a little bit of silicone right in here in these contact areas. And just rub that in with your finger. And lastly, right here, this is a slide area as well. and along the shaft. Anywhere that two pieces of plastic rub together, that's what you wanna get the silicone grease on. Now, again, you don't want much, you just want a very, very thin layer. So let's go ahead and pop this back in. Make sure it faces the right direction, of course. And we are going to take our spring-loaded assembly here. Put our spring back on and reinsert this back where it needs to go, just like that. Now you're going to want to hold that down with a finger or two while you grab the hardware. Pop that back in. Now when you put these in, make sure you turn this counterclockwise gently counterclockwise until you hear a little bit of a click. Okay, and then you can go ahead and turn that in. And same thing with our second screw. Now we can go ahead and turn that over and give these buttons a test. Much better. That's what we like to see. And that's all there is to it. That is how you fix uh, sticking or noisy power and open buttons on the original PlayStation. Thanks for watching.